hi everyone. So in this video, we're gonna look at how to set up VRTK4 in Unity to get VR development running. Any newer Unity version will be supported. So 2019 long-term support or above. I'm using 2019 because that one seems to work the best for me in most cases. We'll start out by importing all the assets, setting up Unity, and then starting by importing the camera rig so that we have basic VR functionality. In this example, I'll be using Steam VR, but you can of course use this with any other SDK as well. So first of all, what we need to do is we need to set up a scoped registry for Unity. What that will do is it'll give us access to all the VRTK4 packages that we will need to import. If you go to the page called vrtk.io slash tilia.html, you'll be able to see all of these different packages that you are able to install into Unity and use as different aspects of your VR game. So first of all, what we need to do is we need to copy the scope registry, meaning we need the npmjs, the link here, and then of course the specific scope that we need as well. So let's copy all of this into Unity. In Inside of Unity, you will have to go to the edit, to the project settings, and then inside of the project settings, select the package manager. You should be able to set up a new re uh, scope registry right here. And this is where you will then have to copy paste all of these elements in. So as soon as you've copy pasted all of these strings here, you can click save and it's now registered into Unity. So we can close back up this menu. Now what we can do is we can go to window and into the package manager. So inside of the package manager here, we're able to see all the different packages that we are able to install from the, uh, the Unity registry. We can also go in and look at what's in the project, what's in my assets, but also build in packages. So in this case, we want to look at what is in the project. And these are the current installed packages that we have in our Unity installation. So what I'll do now is I'll go ahead and install the different packages that we need. And and I'll list them on screen here so you know exactly which ones to pick from. First of all, I'll start by copying the link to the spatial simulator. So if any of you don't have a VR headset, this is the way to go because then you have a simulator that simulates how a VR headset would behave. So the way that you import these packages in your package manager is you click the plus button up here and then you go to add package from git URL. So if you click this, it opens a dialog box, you can paste in the different packages that you want to do, and then you can click add. All of these packages take a moment or two to install, so it can take a while to get all of these packages installed. Then I will copy paste in the tracked alias, which is what we'll be using so that we can have multiple different camera, camera rigs. And uh, in this case, the tracked alias will also give us a generic camera rig that we can apply some of our scripts to at a later date. So now we can close back up the package manager because we have all the packages that we need. What we need to do now is we need to set up our scene and we also need to import Steam VR from the asset store. So let's start by deleting our main camera. Just for the case of this, I'll add a 3D object plane just so that we have like a surface to stand on. I'll go to the asset store. If it's not open here, you can always go to window and click the asset store right here or control nine. So inside of the asset store, you need to search for Steam VR. this one right here from Valve Corporation, of course. So I have both downloaded and purchased this before, meaning that I can just click import. You might need to download first. So of course, just select everything and then click import. So when it's done importing, it'll ask you what you want to use. You should use the Unity XR because that's the newest one. And this is also the one that'll work the best for us. So click that one and it should start importing. It prompts you with a restart might be necessary, which it might actually be, but we'll figure that out in a moment. Just click okay to this. It should automatically select your XR input managers to work with OpenVR and it also shows you this uh, settings menu that Steam just wants you to apply. So accept all and then it just tells you that you made the right choice in a moment. Click OK. We can now close the XR input manager. We can now go back to our scene and now we're back in the scene. Everything should work. So what we need to do now is we need to import our camera rigs. Inside of the packages, if you unfold that folder, you should be able to see all of those Tilia packages that we imported just a moment ago. The ones that we will need now are the Tilia SDK Steam VR Unity. So if you unfold that and go into the runtime and to the prefabs, you should be able to find a camera rigs steam vr this one we need so drag and drop that into your scene so as you can see here it sets up a camera rig and as you can see it also imports the camera rig and the steam vr version so that you have access to the steam vr sdk so because we might need to do multiple different camera rigs i would also like to have a tracked alias in here so we can close down the sdk here you can open the camera rig tracked alias here and we can go again to the runtime to the prefabs and we can take the camera rigs tracked alias and drag that into the scene as well so and now if you click play you will get a prompt that you might need to do inputs for your Steam VR. Click yes to this dialog box, which opens up the input generator. Uh, it tells you that you might need to create the file. Just click yes. So inside of this uh, Steam VR 
input menu, it starts compiling. And this can of course take a while. It tells you if you want to save. Yes, of course you want to. If it doesn't compile automatically, you can click save and generate. So I'll close that menu again. And now we should be able to click play and it should jump into the headset straight away. And as you can see here, I can have a look around with my headset and I also have my controllers visible. So currently I'm just using a original Oculus, but it runs through the Steam VR. So Steam VR recognizes which headset I'm running and it shows me the corresponding controller with of course all the functionality that you would expect. So you have your movable buttons, you can see what you're pressing, which buttons you're clicking and you have haptics and everything. So this is VRTK actually just accessing Steam VR and everything works. However, we cannot teleport, we cannot pick up anything yet because that functionality is uh, still to go. In the next video, we'll be setting up interactions and teleportation. See you in the next one.